she made it clear even to her own son that's looking at her and may feel sad. She'll tell me, you know, here, let's walk. I need to show him that I'm strong. Mm -hmm. And we will walk throughout the hospital. And I'm gonna make jokes like, Mary, I'm gonna try to uh, force an escape and put it on me. <laughs> <laughs> because she was just, I don't want people to treat me a certain way. And so that's the way that she went out. And that's the reason why I will continue to show pictures of her and have memories of her in that light because she literally fought the whole entire way. If you ever pass the apartment during that time, she is praying aloud. You will not take me to the da da And these are personal moments that I'm sharing with you because that was the fighter that I saw outside of culture, outside of language, outside of all of these things that may separate us. Um, that is who I saw in terms of a woman. And that's the memory that I believe that all of us in this community should keep within their hearts, that she is a fighter we all should fight. And as um, Kosi said, it's like all of the bull crap, all of the things that don't really matter, man, let's put that aside and let's focus on things that really matter. And in 2020. And that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Have a good day.